The Casper Slide Part 2. My model. I, oh, I knew I, I was in a play with her. And I told her from the moment I saw her, I said, you're going to model. We didn't know what it was about, but here she is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, and she is responsible for all this de beautiful decorations tonight. She did it all. Triani Oliver. All right, <laughs> <laughs> This one here, whoop! I love her too, please. <laughs> she will actually be modeling with me in September 16th. She will be a uh, model um, for Iron Sharpens Iron. She has tickets, come out to see her. She will be modeling with me. So, Triani, I really am impressed by everything you've been doing. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Boss. This the boss, y'all. This the boss of the group. Miss Teresha Hicks. <laughs> she just um she's an amazing woman. I've watched her. She was always flawless diva mode. I gave a little bit of sprinkle sprinkle now. Here she is. <laughs> Hello, flutter flutter. Can you do it? Sweet, sweet, flutter, flutter. Flutter. And we are the LMS show. Extra, extra show. We over here in Jersey City, New Jersey. Came, come on. Came to the show called the Butterfly Rhythm. Yes. And the young lady. Give us a, your name, young lady. My name is Dietrich Powell. Tell us about yourself, Dietrich Powell. Well, I am now the owner of Butterfly Rhythm. The owner? Yes, well, I am the boss of Butterfly Rhythm. Oh, is that, <laughs> don't that feel good, you know, being Absolutely. the boss? Absolutely, to be the boss. It pays to be the boss. I love being the boss of Butterfly Rhythm. My husband and I founded this company only back in February. And empowering plus size women to love who they are, to believe in who they are. So I feel like I can teach, not teach them, I'm trained, not even trained, I don't want to say that word either. I'm coaching them to become plus size models, helping them get into model competitions. It's kind of tough for a plus size model though still, right? It is, but there's nothing too tough for us. We're breaking, we're breaking walls down. You're breaking them down? Absolutely. You're kicking them in? Kicking them in. Kicking them out? One by one, we're making well, our way through. I, I see that. I see everybody's working together, you know, it's, yes, a, it's a family affair. Absolutely. We don't need no help from strangers. No, no. And being, and being the boss is important too. Oh, I'm busy. Guys, I'm busy. Nice. I'm busy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I, I was reading a book. This is an interesting book about Colonel Sanders. Okay. And he worked for other people. And he said he got to a point. He said he, he got one job. He, he said, I am tired of working for other people. It's time for me to work for myself. Oh. Colonel Sanders. That's right. Now that's how that's where I'm at. I'm tired. I'm just ready to do my own thing and empower other women to do it. What you say is empower what else you have? Really? I'm empowering them, I'm enriching them, I'm uh, doing everything to help other women to become better women. To teaching them from self love, I'm teaching them how to model more. I'm teaching them so many different things, so many different aspects of modeling. I've, I have this philosophy. I love the butterfly, so I'm taking them through the butterfly, different okay. stages of yes. the butterfly to become radiant. It takes, you know, it takes steps and stages to get to where you are. I, I, I noticed. Uh, I noticed your 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 husband works with you. Absolutely, a team. We are definitely a team. We're a force together. He also helps me with my modeling coaching with my women. He's also my um, house photographer. So when we founded Butterfly Rhythm, he wanted to join. He not so much join. He wanted to help me out. So what he did was he went back to school. He did some classes for um, photography, and he helps me out. He helps me with photography. You know, I was reading, um, and I heard this young gentleman say this in person. Uh, Beyonce's father, and Beyonce's father mentioned that the things that he didn't know when he was starting out, uh -huh. he went to school for it. Is that 
important? Absolutely. But you see, with my husband, he wanted to know more about photography. He wanted to be the best photographer he could be. So what he did was he had to go back to school so that he won't be just, you know, just doing photography just because. He wants to, um, our business to be a flawless business. So why not go back to school to get the education that you need to um, do the things that you need to do? You think anybody, everybody should at least, you know, they start business. If the things that they don't know, they should go. Oh, absolutely. Visit. If you don't know something, you have to be educated. Oh, if you don't know, you have somebody who knows what they're doing, right? That's right. That's right. You gotta know what they're doing. Well, Henry, I always recall Henry Ford mentioned they put him in court one day and they said, they, 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 they was charged and they said, they said, what's this about? What's that about? Then Henry Ford got angry and said, look, he banged on the table like this. Boom, let me tell you something. Right. If I want to know something, I just press a button and the person comes to me with the answer. Oh, no, see, no. I don't believe in that. I feel like you really have to do your job of trying to figure things no, out. But you know, but you know, he had an idea, he had a concept, but also, to he, I'm sure he's trying to tell them, look, you know, you have other people who know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's what he does. That's, okay, what, that's what his philosophy yeah, is. I agree with that. Yeah. So, go search it out and help find you up and get the answers. Because one one may be strong at one point, someone may be weak at another point, right? Absolutely. And then vice versa. That's it. That's it. And there's no such thing. Then you put it together, and what do you got? I, I enjoy the. You, you you got a letter from the something from the freeholders of, of New yes, Jersey. I got a proclamation from Jersey Hudson County. I got so I don't know exactly what it is because it was said so fast. So I'm actually gonna go home tonight and read what I got. I was. I'm really amazed. I'm really amazed that the county, the J Jersey City, acknowledged my company, and they know that we're trying to empower other women to believe in themselves. And that but this is not just Jersey City, throughout Hudson County. It's throughout Hudson County. I'm not just. I'm not just. Hoboken, Hoboken. Everywhere, everywhere. Jersey City, Bayonne, yes. New York. I'm a model for New York, so I'm, I'm modeling everywhere, and I want women every, all over the place. I got women from Texas calling. Me. I got women from Florida calling. Virginia, everywhere. So this is not just for Jersey City. This is for um, worldwide. I want this to go everywhere. Butterfly Rhythm is going to fly everywhere. On, on, on that note, I would like to thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. And, and I, 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 well, are you planning to do any more? Are you planning to move ahead? Oh, absolutely. This is, this is just the beginning. Don't um, stop. No, ever, never. Never, never. You got to be consistent in the game. Absolutely. And this is the, this is not the last time you see my face. All right, well, <laughs> well give, 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 next time give me that ticket, I'll come back out of here again. Got you, got you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>